I'd like to take the opportunity today, this 20th anniversary of the APL, to, to welcome somebody to, into these halls. Somebody who's been a tremendous inspiration to many, many people, not only to designers and contractors through his prolific works and many books, but also he was the first designer to really relate to general public through show gardens at Chelsea. I'd like to welcome him here today and thank him for coming. Great privilege that uh, we're celebrating the work of this uh, legendary man, the grandfather of, of this whole design and build movement. There's not a person in this room that is not directly affected by the work uh, of, of this man. Prolific writer, personally, massive influence to me. In the early 80s, I bought his first book, the only book to buy. Still got it, it's still very, very relevant. Prolific author, fantastic teacher and educator, taught many household names. Also, amazing designer, still very current and travelling the world on a weekly basis. I don't know how he gets his energy. Uh, it's great that the APL uh, recognising the work of this truly great, great man. To me, this person is an icon of the gardening industry. I first knew of him back in the 1970s and even today I still look at his book, The Outdoor Room, and I think it's fantastic that the uh, Association of Landscape Gardeners are recognising what he's put into the industry and I would like to congratulate him and wish him all the best for his future. He's a great teacher, a great communicator of ideas giving us the benefit of his wisdom for many many years from garden designers, uh, to art, architecture, fashions, trends, environmental issues. You know, he teaches about history, where we are now and where we're going in garden design. And I think many of us will benefit or have benefited from his ideas, knowingly or unknowingly. And I, for one, am very, uh, am very grateful for that. <laughs>